Hey, good morning, guys. How are you doing? It is a glorious, beautiful Saturday today, and uh, I wanted to talk about this 2014. Uh, it's called an FO2. Uh, so this is the FO27 series from 2014, and uh, I really wanted to go over it because I just love this car, and I think that it's one of the best values, used car values out there, period. Now, I made this video specifically because when I was researching this vehicle, I could tell you that there wasn't a lot of content out there that really made me feel comfortable purchasing this vehicle because there is a stigma or there is a, uh, let's just call it a large degree of caution when you buy a luxury car when it's out of warranty, which of course this one is being a 2014, that uh, they're going to break, they're going to cost you a ton of money, etc., right? And I'm here to tell you that uh, this car is actually a great buy. Uh, I'm going to go through the vehicle today. I'm going to show you the interior, the exterior. I'm going to give you a little bit of a driving performance. I'm going to talk about what's gone right with the car and what's gone wrong with the car. And there's really not that many things to review, but there's a few things to be aware of. And uh, hopefully this gives you a good level of comfort if you're thinking about purchasing this car. So this was this is a hundred and nineteen thousand dollar msrp car you, let me just say that again a hundred and nineteen thousand dollar vehicle uh this is the m sport package which there's a number of different things that tell what an m sport package 7 series is so this has the m sport 19 inch alloy wheels it has the this is called an n63 i believe and that is a 4.4 liter twin turbo v8 making 480 foot pounds of torque and 445 horsepower it's a ton of power what's also really cool about this particular engine is it's the very first v8 that bmw produced that has a twin turbocharger and they put them on the inside banks between the V, right? So it does add a lot of heat to the compartment and you'll notice when you shut off any of these type of engines that the fans will continue to blow hot, uh, well, will continue to blow the hot air from the turbochargers out uh, to keep them from overheating, especially if you've been driving in hot weather. Um, but beyond that, the engine is great. I just love the feel and the power of the engine. A couple of other things that uh, will notate the M Sport package going to be on the inside of the door as you can see right here there's also a couple of details on the steering wheel as well and just a few other things that you'll notice uh make the car the m series they don't actually make uh, an m series 7 which i don't really understand why that is uh but this is pretty much the closest thing you're going to get to having an m series car that's a 7 series now this one does have the X drive. The X drive means that it is all wheel drive. So this is a car that you can absolutely daily in snow, in rain, uh, all, all, all in all, it's just a great performer. All right, let's talk about what's gone wrong with the vehicle. Just a few things. One is this motor likes to burn oil. It's designed to do that. So every couple of weeks, not weeks, I'd say about every couple of months, I have to put 5W30 into the motor. And it's very, very easy to do that. You know, you just, you just right here, you know, you take this off and it'll go ahead and pop maybe one or two quarts at most. And it'll come up with a message saying, you know, please add oil. It doesn't leak any oil. We have no engine oil on our floor or anything like that. It's just designed to burn a little extra oil uh, in the normal operation of the motor. So that's one thing to be aware of. The other thing that we've had a small issue on is we've had to recharge the AC quite a few times. Now, I did not take it to BMW. It's actually very easy to do that. You just find the coolant line. You get one of those little $20 bottles you know, from AutoZone. You plug it in, it recharges it. And that's usually good for a good year or maybe even two summers. I've probably recharged the AC on this car maybe twice since I've had it. We've had the car for three years. And um, yeah, that's, that's pretty good as far as reliability on that. Uh, now, again, I bought this car... $119,000, right? But I bought it for 29 grand. I, let me say that again. I bought this car for 29 grand. It was a one owner. They had about 60,000 miles on it. Uh, guy just probably bought it and, you know, was a traveling salesperson and, you know, did a ton of highway miles on it, right? So you talk about depreciation, right? You get a $120,000 vehicle for 30 grand. 
uh, it was just an incredible value. So that's why I bought it. You know, and I rolled the dice. I'm like, all right, well, we'll see what happens. So the couple of other things that I had to do, I knew when I bought the vehicle, I needed to change the brakes. So I did these. I changed all four uh, rotors and brakes right around uh, 65,000 miles, right around when I bought the vehicle. Um, that way, and the brakes feel great. We've since put this car now has just under 110,000 miles. So we've put another, you know, 40,000 miles on the vehicle brakes are still great you can see here there's a little bit of road rash in the tire one of the things you should be aware of with the wheels specifically they are lightweight they can crack um, and or you can dent them as a matter of fact I actually just replaced this wheel a couple weeks ago because it had started to crack uh, right around the outside and then it went on the inside eventually of the vehicle or of the wheel and eventually led to a cracking where the tire would not hold air pressure. Uh, so, you know, that's, that's not too bad to replace. That wheel shipping from California cost me about $450 uh, for a brand new one, not too bad. Uh, came, I mean, it might not have been brand new, but it looked brand new to me. Now these do have run flat tires on it. So be mindful of that. It's not quite as good as a, you know, a non run flat cause it has the metal, uh, you know, mesh inside. Uh, but overall you can drive on them for hundreds of miles if you absolutely have to with virtually no air pressure in them. So from that point of view, it's nice. Uh, what else has gone wrong? Well, one thing with the back of the vehicle, uh, the trunk lid. Okay. So it, it, interestingly enough, if you want to open the trunk, right, you push this right here and it'll go ahead and open up pretty easy. Not a big deal, right? One of the problems we've had is this button right here no longer works. Okay. So it still works. The mechanism does. And what you, so what you end up having to do is come up here and just pushing that button. The problem is it won't all the way latch. So you, you actually have to kind of go like this and then push it down and that'll actually close it so that way you don't have the little annoying light on your dash, okay? So that's one thing. Um, I did have a mechanic actually change out the button last time he serviced the car. And uh, the problem with that is he didn't have the BMW software to resync it with the computer system. So if you, that's one thing about BMW that's a little annoying. You have to take it to them to have a lot of electronics uh, and things like buttons because they have to reattach it to the computer and the systems and all that. Otherwise it won't actually recognize the new button. It's kind of annoying, uh, but hey, you know, they get their money when you when you go there. I did have this vehicle serviced at BMW quite often, uh, about, you know, once a year for the most part. And, uh, you know, it, it uh, they took care of me. I mean, an oil change only cost 120 bucks. All right. So again, you know, 107,000 miles, car fires right up. Sounds good. You know, we're going to take this car for a test drive here. And I'm gonna show you what a 107,000 mile BMW uh, steel drives and feels like. You know, inside the vehicle, it's a really nice place to be. You know, you can see here that this is, uh, this. I don't know if this is a sticker or not. Um, I, I think this piece right here needs to be replaced. But beyond that, this car shows very, very well. I mean, there's hardly any scratches on the wood. Uh, the leather, you can see the leather condition. I mean, it looks, pretty darn good you know very very little uh wear back seats look great you know you've got your you've got your uh sunroof up here so overall um inside is comfortable i love the seats and i, I i'll be honest with you i don't think there's many uh cars i would rather take road trips uh with than than this one it's just such a good highway cruising vehicle so let's, uh, let's take it for a test drive and I'll give you some additional thoughts on the vehicle, guys. All right, guys, we're in the car now. And as you can hear, it's very, very quiet. And uh, it's just a nice place to be. The 7 Series is such a good driver's car, but it's also an excellent luxury car. In fact, the very first time that I drove this car, I was just so impressed by how it feels. You know, I'm a driver, I like to drive. Uh, you know, and this is just hard to beat. Now this does have the tech package here as well. So that's what this thing you're seeing. You can turn this on or off. 
Uh, so it's got a, it's got that particular upgrade and package, and it'll show you here on the on the screen. But basically, a very very good car. Uh, let's go ahead and show you how it forms. Now again, we got a hundred and seven thousand mile vehicle here, so you know, just 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 try to appreciate how good this thing runs. Ugh, it still pulls like a freight train. I mean, it just has all the power you want. All wheel drive, I mean, that's 6570 like that, right? You, you, you really never need to go past four or 5,000 RPMs with this vehicle. Uh, it's just bananas fast. Um, feels so good to drive. Uh, the, the hydraulic steering on BMWs is legitimately difficult to beat. I'm telling you, it just feels so planted feels so good to drive. Um, I remember the first time I drove this car, I was like, wow, you know, it's just that good. Let me take this off because it's annoying. All right. So driving experience, you're going to love it. You're absolutely going to love driving this car. Ooh, there's a lot of crap in the road there. All right. So the feeling of the brakes, they feel excellent. Uh, they put massive rotors uh, on these cars, so the brake performance feels great even after 40,000 miles of our on our second set. Uh, absolutely, like, ugh, they just they just bite. They're progressive, uh, phenomenal brakes. Suspension, again, it's it's designed to give you a gushy ride, but at the same time, it gives you a level of sport. That is just hard to beat. It really is. And if you want to go ahead and take it up a notch, you go ahead and you put this over here to sport and it'll change the screen and then it'll downgrade a gear and man, you have all the power in the world at that point. I mean, don't get me wrong. The new ones, they have even more horsepower. You know, they're putting well into the 500s, but oh God, it's so good. <laughs> I mean, come on, what more do you need? Jesus, I mean, that's 80 miles an hour, and I don't even, I'm not even like, you know, pushing it to the floor, right? So, in the end of the day, this thing has more than enough power. Uh, you, you'll absolutely love it uh, when it comes to that, all right? Okay, so a few other thoughts. Uh, cruise control, it does not have the cruise control that will keep you uh, in your lane if you have a vehicle in front of you. So that's kind of an annoying quirk. It's something that uh, I've uh, gotten used to with uh, my Tesla and a number of other vehicles that I, I enjoy. Uh, that's just something they didn't have. Now keep in mind, when you get a 2014, you're getting the newer style vehicle, right? You're getting the newer body style, and uh, you know you're getting a car that uh, you know really has. Uh, I mean, it's, it, like they changed it, I think, in 2016. Uh, but you want to go and find a 14, just because it has the white LED, uh, you know, angel headlights. So it has the newer version of that. They did a couple of uh, you know cosmetic upgrades on the interior and exterior. I definitely feel like if you're looking to buy one of these, that's the one you want to lean towards. Um, you can see you have the heads-up display here as well. Uh, obviously, with the camera, it's going to be flickering a little bit annoying, but uh, as the driver, it's it's just wonderful. You know, you got great visibility out of the vehicle. You know, the, the B pillars are small, the A pillars are small. Um, it's just a nice place to cruise. It really is. Um, I just love this car, and I cannot believe how well it's held up. I mean, we haven't had any major transmission or engine issues with the vehicle. None. I mean, in, in, in even driving it right now, it still feels great. It's got all the power. The suspension feels great. The steering feels great. I mean, it's kind of like, what more do you want? You know? I mean, really. So I can't say enough positive things about the driving experience of this car. And yeah, I've had a few minor issues with the vehicle. Like I said, I had, the, I had some AC issues, uh, the back of the trunk, a cracking of one of the wheels. Um, but come on, I mean, grant you, 
it could very well have any kind of a transmission issue or, or you know, an engine issue at this stage. I know you have to do the Vano seals, which is an engine out service where they have to replace some rings in the, uh, the spark plug area. And, and, and I guess it goes pretty far down into the engine. Uh, the Vanos is uh, where they squirt fuel in, and uh, but really this car, when you start it up cold, doesn't blow a lot of white smoke. So I just don't think that there's that many, re I don't really feel like uh, there's an issue right now, even though it can creep up between 70,000 and 140,000 miles. I've been told that I'm going to eventually have to do that if I keep this car, but I don't think I'm going to keep this car too much longer. Um, you know, we've had it now for three years. I think we've gotten what we want out of it. So I'm actually listing this car for sale. Now, here's the crazy part, guys. I bought it for $29,000 with, uh, I think it had like 60, in the mid 60,000 mile range, right? Now I'm going to sell it for 22,000. That's what this car currently retails for. And that's with 107,000 miles on it. Now, grant you, I might not get more than 20 grand. We'll see eventually what happens, right? It's really up to the dealer that I, I, let, I let sell my vehicles. I've got a few friends, but at the end of the day, I mean, come on, I'm losing less than $10,000 on a car that I've driven 40,000 miles over three years. Uh, that's a phenomenal value. I mean, you know, the first guy who bought this car or girl uh, lost what a hundred thousand dollars? Just a, just about. I mean, I bought it for twenty nine. The car was one hundred and twenty k new. So okay, they didn't quite lose a hundred, but they they lost what eighty five ninety grand. Uh, that's crazy depreciation, right? Absolutely crazy. Uh, so yes, I think that if you're looking at one of these, you want to find one that has really good service records. You want to take it for a nice test drive. You want to see how the idle is. Um, you know, you really just want to make sure that it's a good car. It wasn't abused or beaten up, right? So again, one more time on the performance. Oh, got it. It, it is so fast. I mean, 480 foot-pounds of torque. God, it just it just flies, guys. <laughs> it's going so fast, my camera can't even keep up. <laughs> I mean, it's just so much power, and it feels so good to drive. It's such a good car to drive on the uh, on the highway, right? Uh, I can tell you, highway-wise, you're gonna actually get really good fuel economy. This car gets 24 miles a gallon. 24 miles a gallon with 450 horsepower. I mean, hello, that's a phenomenal value. Uh, now, it does run on premium. You know, people tell me that I could put lower octane gas in, but uh, I think you're rolling the dice on that one. So you're gonna wanna put, uh, you know, premium fuel in it, but uh, you know, you're looking at around 16 to 20 in the city and 20 to 24 on the highway consistently. So again, very, very good performer when it comes to fuel economy, considering the amount of power and performance that you do have. Um, so yeah, there's really not much else I could say. I mean, you know, it's, it's comfortable in the back. This is the L version. So, you know, if you do have kids with car seats, you can actually put them in the car seats and still not be completely smushed if you're the driver. So that's a positive. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, bottom line, guys, is I think if you can find one of these for the low 20s, that's in good condition, you know, the paint's good, uh, drives well, doesn't have a lot of check engine lights, go get one. You know, I mean, yes, you, you could very well have some issues that cost you six to $10,000, but the FO2, specifically with this engine, um, if it's been taken care of, I think you're going to find that uh, it is it is solid and uh, at least it's been solid for us and that's that's the experience that I get to share <laughs> it's so funny I'm this this car is so fast you know performance wise that <laughs> it's making my gimbal I can't even keep up <laughs> with the g-forces so I hope that's not too annoying on camera um, but yeah it's it's a fun car to drive I mean golly a hundred and seven thousand miles and it still feels great right? I still enjoy driving this vehicle. I mean, I have a Tesla P100D, right? Model X. And that thing is just a missile. And grant you, it's got all the technology. I st still think this is actually a much better driving experience. As fun as that car is to drive, uh, this thing is just, uh, it's just got it. You know, there's something about the ultimate drive machine, the way the steering wheel feels, the way the brakes and the power and the torque and all of it, it just comes together to make such a good driver's car. And yes, it's still luxury, 
You know, it's still something that you can absolutely daily drive. Uh, it's got a phenomenal sound system in it. The Harman Kardon sound system is great. Uh, you know, I, I'll, I'll say a couple of negatives real quick on the infotainment system. It is a little bit annoying to get used to. Uh, the iDrive system here, it's, it's a little bit complicated uh, to figure out. I, I will say that. Um, I'm gonna just stop here in two seconds and I'll show you a little bit about how it works, Have right? This knob so. and you know, you click right here, you go to menu and uh, from there you can scroll down, you know, vehicle info, okay? Efficient dynamics, trip computer, vehicle status, etc. You know, this is kind of cool. You know, so we're averaging 20, 20 miles a gallon. That's pretty darn good. Uh, considering sport displays are fun tells you your horsepower and torque so real quick Isn't that neat? Oh, let me make sure you can see it <laughs> So that's that's a very cool feature. I, I always like the horsepower and torque You know, it's just amazing how little power you actually need to get this thing up to speed uh, That's just one of the fun facts. Okay All right Going back to uh, this right here, a couple of other things, your navigation, your telephone, your multimedia, et cetera, connected drive, vehicle info and settings. So pretty straightforward stuff. Um, one of the issues I have have, I can tell you with the media, it's, it's just weird the way this connects to your phone. Um, it'll connect to your phone and then you, it'll, it'll stop what you're currently playing. Then you have to go and sometimes you have to go to aux and then back. So I just, just tell you, I've had a few, uh, Bluetooth issues with this specific car that I don't get on some other vehicles, but again, it's not the end of the world. It's not that bad. Um, it re really, it hasn't been. So if you have any questions on the vehicle, um, you know, let me know. I'll do my best to answer them. I just wanted to do this video because I wanted to talk about, you know, again, 22 grand. This car is so good. It's so much value. It's so much car for the money. I mean, it just pulls like a damn freight train. Ugh, feels so good with the all wheel drive. It's so fun to drive. It's so quiet. I mean, I'm gonna shut up and just listen. I'm saying I mean that's 75 80 miles an hour cooking having a good time all day quiet reliable car so far go get yourself one I hope this video was helpful and uh, makes you feel a little bit more comfortable buying a 2014 BMW 750 Li FO2 configuration that's the long body which is what this one is and uh, yeah, I really appreciate you guys' uh, support of the channel. Please like and comment if you do have any thoughts on the vehicle. If you've had negative experiences with, with your BMW, specifically this model, I'd love to hear about it. Um, but like I said, we just haven't had any. So I really appreciate you guys, again, your support of the channel. Uh, we're getting close to 2,000 subscribers. Uh, we're getting close to a million views. Uh, I love doing it for you. I love I love. Basically, I just love cars, you know, <laughs> I love everything about it. I love talking to, to you guys about this stuff. It's been a real passion of mine and uh, we are back at home base. So that's it. That's it for me. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for everything.